Albert Nuremberg. Thank you very much, Moses. I actually am here to make a public uh, safety announcement. Um, I'm here to talk to you actually about the risks of drugs. Um, now, uh, this seems to be an appropriate place to do this because as you know, your mayor is on drugs. <laughs> this uh, evidence courtesy of the Globe and Mail. Now, um, you know this, but there's a little more of a serious side that you may not know about. I'm sure you know who this is. Corey Monteith, who's one of the, uh, was one of the most important uh, Canadian actors to emerge in television recently, unfortunately died of a combination heroin-alcohol overdose. Uh, of course, you know who this is, Amy Winehouse. Uh, one of the greatest singers possibly of her generation died of an alcohol overdose. Um, and Philip Seymour Hoffman, also considered possibly to be the greatest actor, or one of the greatest actors of his generation, died of a heroin overdose. You probably know that, but you may not uh, know this, that um, more people are dying of drug overdoses than at, basically, than at any other time in world history. Why is this? There are more kinds of drugs. Uh, there are also, drugs are more powerful these days. And as well, people are just a little more extreme. So, I happen to work, as um, uh, Moses mentioned, as a laughologist, I work in a drug treatment center where we do laughter therapy, and I found myself asking drug addicts, why do you, um, of course, why are you so obsessed with drugs and alcohol beyond the addiction? And the answer would usually be the same, uh, which is, this is the center where I work, uh, that people often believe that the only way to get high in life, these people, is through drugs and alcohol. Um, and we would probably know there are other ways, mountain climbing, uh, going down rushing rivers, uh, sex. There are many ways to get high in life. Um, and um, uh, so I started to think about an old hypnotist trick. And the hypnotists have an old parlor trick where people can actually get uh, people drunk, essentially appear to get people drunk under hypnosis. I thought that's interesting. If people could be drunk under hypnosis, maybe you could take it a little bit further. And here's the crazy idea I want to throw at you today. Is it possible? Uh, that you can achieve altered states uh, without drugs, alcohol, or even side effects. And I think that sounds, given that the alcohol and drug industry is probably one of the largest industries in the world, that that's actually a pretty crazy idea. So if you will humor me, I'd like to do a large kind of experiment here uh, today. Um, so just if, before we maybe start, is that okay with you? Is that all right? Okay, very good. Well, before we start, let me just sort of give you a background a little bit on hypnosis. This should be safe, should be safe, <laughs> because really hypnosis is usually achieved simply by deep relaxation, uh, just by getting into a very, very relaxed state, and usually relaxing, as we just saw in the previous um, uh, uh, seminar, that it, uh, relaxation is really generally not a dangerous behavior. So, now to do this, uh, I'm going to give you what's an interesting, um, perhaps new model. What is exciting to me, as somebody who studies hypnosis, is that there's suddenly a fantastic emerging model for hypnosis. Uh, for many years, it's, it's been clouded in mystery. I would argue it's still clouded in mystery. I did a demonstration yesterday here on the webcast where somebody was hypnotized, and several people said, that was an actress. It must have been fake. Um, and you may experience that today. People still don't understand how hypnosis works. So I'm gonna, I've only got 17 minutes, so I have to talk really quickly. But I'm going to give you a very, very simple explanation for the model. Here, we have a, uh, a fetus in the womb. We've discovered, scientists discovered, that fetuses in mammals will always do the same thing in the womb. They're, they are in essentially in a dream state. Their eyes are going back and forth. Their eyelids are fluttering. Now, they have done experiments on hamsters, unfortunately, where they've stopped hamsters from experiencing the state. And when they do, when they do not allow them to have the state, the, the hamster will be born severely uh, undeveloped, retarded, and damaged. So the theory is that this state is the essential programming state of mammals, that they are being essentially like in the movie The Matrix, they are being programmed to be whatever they are, hamsters, humans, dogs, at that moment. Now, with hypnosis, what goes on is that we believe, what do they do in hypnosis? Famously, the stereotype is the pendulum goes back and forth. If you were to watch a pendulum going back and forth, your eyes would do what? They would start moving back and forth. And what maybe is going on there is we are jump-starting that primordial self-programming mode that occurs in the womb. 
That's the theory. Let's see if it's true. So um, for, to do this, we need a hypnotist. Uh, so uh, you know what's interesting about hypnotists is that I've noticed that the unconscious mind responds a little bit better to sort of excessive, slightly excessive authoritarian behavior. I wouldn't normally dress like this. Um, but for this, I think it can't be necessary. So let me introduce the hypnotist now. The amazing neuron. That's a, me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now, for the first presentation, I'd like to suggest that we, as a group, now, if you are concerned, uh, if you are very sensitive, as we go through this, you can simply look away. If there's something that you're concerned, you know, I am going to show you some hypnotic imagery. If you're concerned, just simply look away if you think that it will affect you. But generally, this is safe. Okay. <laughs> we are now going to do the basic trance. Now, all I suggest to you is that you put your feet flat on the floor. Beautiful. That's right, feet flat on the floor. Make yourself comfortable. You can notice the beautiful fresh air. They really have great air in this room. And all you want to do is look deep into the center of the spiral. As you do, take one deep breath in. Take a nice deep breath in, just like that. Very good. And as you take that deep breath in, slowly breathe out. And when you breathe out, you feel yourself feeling more relaxed. Very good. Now, take a second deep breath in, and very, very slowly breathe out. Excellent. Now, as you stare deeper into the spiral, take a third de deep breath in, and now slowly breathe out. Very good. Now hold that feeling. You are in a relaxed trance right now. I'm just going to move you to the second state. This is called deep focus. And here is an example of deep focus. <laughs> I'm actually dead serious. <laughs> this man is hypnotized. <laughs> and now I'll, I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it to you. Take a look at this. Look a little bit closer. Now, if you imitate I'm just going to ask you for a second, imitate that expression. Hold your eyes, and you will feel what it is to be Rob Ford. <laughs> you will know what it is to be Rob Ford, and you will feel yourself in a trance. So take a deep look, stare into his eyes, and imitate that look right now, if you don't mind. And you can feel that you are in the second stage of the hypnotic trance, the deep focus. Beautiful. You're doing very well. Now. I want to give you a demonstration of what I'm talking about, the idea that we could create drug states without drugs, okay? So a lot of reasons why people try drugs, famously, is they want to hallucinate. And I believe that you can hallucinate minus without drugs. So let me see what, tell, explain what I mean. Follow the white dots around this picture. The white dots appear to be moving. This is just a little warm-up hallucination. The white dots are not moving. Okay, very good. So now we'll try a next hallucination. This one's a little more extreme. Take a deep breath in. Good. And I'll ask you just to look at the Idea City logo. Just stare and focus on the Idea City logo. Go back to that relaxed state, feeling relaxed and calm. And just stare deeply at the Idea City logo. And I will slowly count you down. As I count you down, think about getting more relaxed and looking deeper into this picture. 10, 9, 8, 7. A little deeper, more relaxed. Six, letting go, feeling calm. Five, four, three, staring deep into the image. Two, now just look around the room. Just look around. Who is hallucinating? <laughs> Very good. Okay, now we're going to do a test. To make this work, I actually have to bring up. Uh, people. Now, to do, put people in the hypnotic state, we have to do it very quickly. So I'm going to ask for, uh, uh, for some people to come up on the stage, and it'll just take a couple seconds. So I'm going to do a simple, classic hypnotic test. Again, look at the deep spiral. I'm just going to ask you to put your hands up like this. Put your hands up like this. Very good. Okay. Now, you want to hold your fists a little bit tight. Put an inch between your fingers. Stare at the spiral right in the center. Very good. Take a deep breath in. Now. As you relax deeper and deeper, you'll notice something interesting. There's almost like an invisible force that is pushing your fingers towards each other. As you breathe in and relax, you notice your fingers are starting to move towards each other all by themselves. That's right, all by themselves. Your fingers are moving towards each other all by themselves as if by magic. They're moving closer and closer. Okay, very good. All, all as if by magic as you stare deep into the spiral. Very good. Now, if your fingers touched, 
If your fingers touch, please come up on stage. If your fingers touch, please come up on stage. <laughs> okay, now I have to do this very quickly. So now, okay, everyone here, take a deep breath in. If you don't mind, I have to hypnotize these people very quickly. Normally, in a normal hypnosis, we would have like an hour to do this, but I have to do it very, very rapidly because we don't have much time. So I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath in. Look at the back of the hall. Okay. Those of you, you can stare at this spiral as well. Take a look at the back of the hall. Very good. If those of you in the audience, just look at the spiral. Okay. Now, take a deep breath in. Very good. Excellent. Now, just look at my hand. Take a look at my hand. Watch it go up. Watch it go down. Up. Down. Up. Very good. I'm just going to ask you to push down on my hand. Push down on my hand. Very good. Push down hard. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath in. Relax. Sleep all the way in. Very good. Excellent. Person's already in a hypnotized state. Okay, very good. Deep breath in. You put your hands out like this. Very good. Put your hands out like that. Take a deep breath in. Stare at the back of the hall. Deep breath in. One, two, three. Sleep all the way in. Relaxing all the way. All the way in. Let yourself drop. Beautiful. Now, I want to show you something interesting. Can the camera come close on this man's eyes? What are his eyes doing? His eyes are flickering. He's in an REM state. His eyes are going back and forth. That cannot be faked, just so you know. Or it's very difficult to fake. Okay, so let's try somebody else. Yes, sir. Deep breath in. Very good. Just letting yourself up and down. Focus on the back of the hall. Very good. Excellent. Feeling good? Can you put your hands up like this? Okay, in a few seconds, I'm going to give you, yeah, you know that feeling? Get excited to be on stage. It's really, really good. Take a deep breath in. Look at the back of the stage. Very good. Feeling good. Okay, now, look at me. Look at my right eye. Very good. Focus. Focus. Very good. Now, take a look at me. Focus and Sleep all the way in, dropping down all the way, feeling very good, very excellent, in a really relaxed state. He's in. Okay, very good. Now, okay, I'm just going to do a little bit of an experiment because we don't have much time. I'm going to ask all of you, take a deep breath in, relax, very good. You're doing so well. They're doing so well. Aren't these people beautiful? Yes. Now, I'm just going to ask you to open your eyes and now slowly close your eyes. And when you close your eyes, just relax deep into a deep, relaxing state. Beautiful, listen to the music. Now slowly open your eyes. Okay, very good. Now close your eyes and go a deep, relaxing state. One more time, open your eyes and now close your eyes. And now this time we'll close your eyes and fall. Fall into a very relaxed and calm state. Beautiful. Now as I count you down, three, two, one, you're gonna hear the word sleep. It doesn't mean you go to sleep, it means you go to a very deep and relaxed state. Three, two, one, sleep and sleep and sleep. Beautiful, let yourself drop in. Sleep, beautiful, okay, now. We're going to do our first little experiment. I lost my clicker. OK, so this first little experiment, we'll see if we can get these people drunk. Now, the person I'm touching 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 now. You're feeling relaxed and beautiful and calm. When I snap my fingers, when I snap my fingers in just a few seconds, every time I snap my fingers, it will be as if, you know that wonderful feeling when you've had a beer, that bubbly, wonderful, relaxed feeling? When I snap my fingers, it'll be like you've had a beautiful beer, and it'll really relax you in a deep and relaxing way. So here we go. Now, you know the sound? Ah, yes, nice cold beer. Now, when I snap my fingers, you have had a beer right now. That's right, you've had two beers now. Okay, now you've had three beers. <laughs> now you've had four beers. Okay, now, let's just try on a few people. <laughs> just gonna ask you maybe, madam, to stand up. <laughs> just see if you can stand up, see if you can walk around. <laughs> Sir, when I sat my fingers, you've had four beers and you can just stand up, see if you can stand up. See if you, now you've had five beers. <laughs> Six beers. Just try to walk towards me, see if you can do it. Just try to walk towards me. Actually, it's pretty good. <laughs> Seven beers. Careful. Eight beers. Okay, very good. So now I'm just going to ask you to slowly put yourself back in your chair. Very good. Relax. Deep breath in. And now relax and sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. Beautiful. And sleep. Okay, I'm, I'm getting the people that are going in very quickly. So now let's do the next one because I really have to hurry. Okay, so this is a really beautiful one, which is the ability. A lot of drugs, for example, like cocaine, involve having a very quick, powerful rush. So. I'm going to demonstrate, when you have a rush, you usually have a quick, your heartbeat accelerates, you have an energetic surge, and you're having a kind of peak experience. Let's demonstrate this. When you come back into the room, the person I'm touching now, the person I'm touching now, 
person I'm touching now and the person that I am touching now, we've injected you. We've injected you with a powerful drug that's very much like, co like cocaine will cause you to have a massive rush. Your heart will beat, your pupils will dilate. You're gonna have an amazing warm surge throughout your body. You will always remain safe, safe in your, sh in your chair, but you're gonna feel an amazing experience. All I'm gonna ask you to do is to put your hands, anyone can do this if they want, put your hands up above your knees like this. Put your hands up, I'm gonna snap my fingers, you can see me now. You can open your eyes, you can put your hands, that's right, you can open your eyes, you can open your eyes. Put your hands up, that's right. Okay, you sir, you can snap my fingers, you can open your eyes, beautiful. Put your hands up like this. Now, on the count of three, two, one, you're gonna slap your hands on your knees. The moment your hands touch your knees, that will activate this drug. You'll have a powerful surge, your pupils will dilate, your heart will beat, and you'll feel an amazing surge throughout their whole body. Okay, here we go. On the count of three, two, one, now, bang, here we go. <laughs> How do you feel? Shaky. Shaky? Okay, so now here's the next thing. Now we're gonna double the effect. The effect will be twice as strong. How do you feel? Yeah, a, bit, a bit warm. Inside. Warm inside, okay. So now the rush is going to be twice the effect, twice as strong. Take a deep breath in, hands up. Effect is twice as strong. Okay, here we go. On the count of three, you're going to feel a powerful surge. Your pupils will dilate and your heart will beat. Three, twice as strong now. Two, one, slapping your hands. Now, bang! Very good. How do you feel, sir? Shoulder. Your shoulder is? Uh, a bit shaky. Very good, okay. So this lady over here, how is she feeling? <laughs> okay. Now, I don't know if we have time to do the psychedelic state, so I'm just going to rush. So that's why I'm saying it's something interesting. Love drugs. Now, what I'm doing is I'm using the behavioral, these people, just so you know, don't necessarily have to have taken these drugs to experience it. We're not saying these people have tried any of these drugs. We're using the behavioral cues that create the drug experience. So, let's see if we can just try uh, love drugs such as ecstasy. Ecstasy produces, uh, the theory is, a higher level of serotonin, which is a bonding hormone. So now you're feeling, I know you guys are up on stage, you're feeling a little bit intense and stressed. Now those of you in the audience, you can do this, you can look into Lauren Bacall's beautiful eyes. Okay, as you, now in a few seconds, I'm gonna suggest that you stare into Lauren Bacall's eyes and just really, really relax. Now, we're gonna do this kind of an interesting experience. I'm gonna suggest to the people that, I've, that I'll touch right now, you sir, you ma'am, and any of you can do this. Of course, you can do this. And sir, <laughs> you can do this. I'm gonna ask you just to look at, take it, look at the person on your left. Look at the person on your left. Maybe you can look at the person on your right. Look at them in the eyes. That's very good. But now, now I'm just going to ask you to relax, ask you to relax really deeply. Okay, take a deep breath in now, okay? Relax really deeply. And as I count you down, you're going to notice something kind of mysterious and weird. Ten. You're going to feel lots of empathy and compassion. Nine. You're feeling like this person's another human being, just like me. Eight. Seven, that feeling increases, and you might feel a warm feeling in the center of your chest starting now. A warm feeling in your chest. <laughs> okay. Very good, just because I have to rush. That was great. So, sorry, so what do you, what do you feel? Warm and close, okay, be yeah, th th beautiful. I and mean, th this is a lovely person. I can see why would, you would feel that way. So, take a deep breath in, relax, and sleep all the way in. Very good. Sir, relax, you, sleep. Beautiful, excellent. Ma'am, you're doing really well, you're so fantastic. And sleep, beautiful, right, very good. <laughs> She's amazing. You wanna see that again? Okay, three, two, one, you can open your eyes now. Now, I want you to drop into the most beautiful, powerful, and profound sleep starting right, sleep right now, beautiful, very nice, okay. Okay, so now we'll try maybe one more because I know I'm running out of time. I want you to invent a drug, just to show you how crazy this is. Give me a series of states or things that people, you would want in a drug, and we'll see if we can do it. So what's, what's a drug that doesn't exist? A drug, okay, it makes you high. Is that your suggestion? Fly. It makes you fly. Yes. Okay, okay, great. That's easy, okay. Ludicron. Ludicron. Yes, it makes you laugh at serious statements. Okay, I like that. Ludicron. Any other effects? 
Makes you feel like you're hiding anything else? Itchy. It makes you itchy. That's one of the negative side effects. Okay, we'll take it. it makes you itchy. Ludicron, okay, very good. Anything else? You think, how about everybody in the audience is naked? Is that what you're suggesting? Okay, we'll do that. Okay. Okay, as you know, we are unveiling today at IDSC this new drug known as Ludicron. It is a wonderful drug. It makes, you, um, it makes you laugh spontaneously. And when people say serious statements, like this is serious, you will laugh even harder. The more serious the statement, the more you laugh. It does have some side effects. Uh, you will feel itchy, and you will notice that the entire audience, when you look at them, is naked, <laughs> which will make you feel that everything is even more ludicrous, of course, and that is the sign that you are on Ludicron. The person I'm touching right now, you've been injected with Ludicron. The person I'm touching right now, you've got a double dose of Ludicron, <laughs> and you are already on Ludicron. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now. Now, here we go. So. Uh, when I snap my fingers and you come back in the room, you will be on a double dose of wonderful Ludicron. You'll experience all those experiences, and you will feel it powerfully. If somebody says something serious to you, you will begin laughing like a lunatic. You will burst out laughing. So here we go. Three, two, one. When I snap my fingers, now. You're on Ludicron right now. Okay. I'm going to say something to you that's very serious. There are a lot of puppies that aren't properly cared for. <laughs> Sorry. That man is Moses Neymar. <laughs> now, I would like to direct your attention, those of you that are on Ludacron, when I snap my fingers, the dose becomes twice as strong. <laughs> Three times as strong. Now, you, take a look at the audience. What do you see? <laughs> what, do you, what do you see? I don't want to look. <laughs> what, what do you see? When you look at the audience right now, what do you see? Uh, there's their body parts all over. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know who now owns the patent for Ludicron, but I guess we all do. Um, anyways, uh, I, I know I'm out of time, so I just want to say one last thing that this is kind of serious, which is that we, you know the drug and alcohol industry is a multi-trillion dollar industry. It probably kills and destroys millions of lives. And there's an interesting question here. Now, we, I did select people that were more quickly hypnotizable, but I believe this would work on just about Everybody it doesn't require technology. It just requires relaxation. Uh, so the question is, what if it's all <laughs> in your mind, uh, as we demonstrated today? So maybe um, uh, one last thing, which is it's always nice to end on a, on a nice little laugh. So we'll do a, a really great, crazy laugh. Take a deep breath in, relax, and sleep, and sleep. Beautiful. You can sleep, too. Sleep beautiful. Now, uh, this woman's fantastic. And sleep. Very nice. OK. Now, this will apply to everybody. Everybody can just close your eyes and relax. Very good, feeling relaxed and calm. When you come back into the room, you will laugh so hard. The minute I snap my fingers, you will burst out laughing without any inhibition. You'll just have the craziest, wildest laugh. And we know that laughter is so healthy and makes you feel good. So in a few seconds, I'll count you down. Three. Now, here's an interesting thing. Three, two. I'm going to give you a motivation. When you see Moses Neimer walk out on the stage, that is the exact moment where you will laugh the craziest. OK? Is that OK? So here we go. So when I snap my fingers, you'll start laughing. But when you see Moses Neimer come out on stage, you'll laugh like crazy. Three, two, one, now. Thank you. Can you release this? Yeah. I just want to point out that this has all been done without drugs. 
And yes, I do have to release these people. So I just want to make sure you guys are in a very alert state. So you, you can be hypnotized without knowing it. So this applies to you as well. You just want to take a deep breath in. If you don't mind, just close your eyes gently. And now, in a few seconds, you'll come back into the room. You'll feel refreshed and relaxed, a bit like you've had a beautiful nap. Now, for the people that were deeply hypnotized, you will not remember anything. You will not remember anything until you hear the word ludicron. <laughs> and then everything will come flooding back in a second. In a few seconds, you'll come back to the room. You will not be hypnotized. You'll be wide awake and alert, remaining safe, and be able to take on any of the challenges of the day. Coming back into the room on the count of three, two, one, when I snap my fingers, now. Okay, very good. So just ask maybe a couple of people. Do you, um, do you remember what happened in the last few minutes? Not really. No. You don't. Sir, do you remember being drunk? No? No. No, you don't. Do you remember anything that happened, sir? No. I remember laughing. You remember laughing? Okay, well, what if I was to say, or what if the audience was to say the word? Thank you very much.